Hello and welcome, dear students. So today we are here to explain another subject in chapter 5, section 4. It is similar triangles, page 198. So in this section, the, the definition and the theorems are important to note. So the first one, we have similar triangle. What is the definition of similar triangles? It says two triangles are similar if their angles are congruent and their sides are proportional. So right now we have two words, two things. Angles are congruent, okay, for similar triangles. Angles are congruent. Congruent means equal. The angles are equal. Then their sides are proportional. Their sides are proportional. Then I'm going to explain both of them. First, if you look at the angles, here angle D is 77. We have another angle here, is 77. So angle A is congruent to angle D. Also, angle F is congruent to angle C because 63, 63, they have the same measure. That's why we call them congruent. And also angle B here, angle E is congruent to angle B. Both of them are 40, 40. This is about the first, let's say, word, the first part. The angles are congruent. You can see that the angles have the same measure. They are equal. Then, what about the sides are proportional? It means if you divide the sides here, for example, if you divide that side, A, let's say DF, it's 8. So, 8. Divided by A, C, it means 16. A divided by 16, if you simplify it, it's going to be 1 over 2. Okay, this is the uh, proportionality of the first one. Then, for the second one, 12 divided by 24. 12 divided by 24, simplify it, it's going to be 1 over 2. Divided by 12 divided by 12. The last one is 11 divided by 22. 11 divided by 22 is equal to 1 over 2. So we can see that all the sides are proportional. But be careful, you cannot say 8 divided by 24 or 11 divided by 16 because DF is corresponding to AC and DE is corresponding to AB. And finally, FE is corresponding to CB. So they are correspond. So we have equal, or let's say congruent angles. And the sides are proportional, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So these two triangles are similar. This is one of the ways that we are going to show that the two triangles are similar. Then we have uh, the first theorem that is AA. AA, it means angle, angle. So, what does it mean? It says if two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Here we have these two triangles. The two triangles are FDE and F, D, E, and also we have C, A, B, or you can say A, B, C. Two angles here, D is congruent to A. D is congruent to A, and also E is congruent to B. Because we have found, because we have found two angles in the first triangle, is congruent to two angles in the second triangle, it means both of them are similar. They are similar. We have two angles here are congruent to two angles in the other triangle. Then we can say that these two triangles are similar. This is one of the theorem. The other one is side, side, side. Side, side, side. It means if three sides of a triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides in other triangle, then these two triangles are 
similar. As we showed in the first one, what is proportionality? Here we have AC with AC, okay, divided by, let's say, XY. Then AB divided by ZY. And finally, CB divided by ZX or XZ. If you divide these numbers, all of them are going to get the same results. So again, it says if three sides of a triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. The other theorem is side angle, side. Side angle, side. It means if two sides, two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle and included angle are congruent then the two triangle are similar so what does it mean it means if you look at the graph we have AC is corresponding to PR and CB is corresponding to RQ or QR and also there is an angle between them these two angle are congruent because we have two corresponding sides in the first triangle and the second triangle okay and the angle between them is congruent means that these two triangles are similar this is the sign of similar these two triangles are or these two triangles are similar <coughs> okay we have example one and two it says write the similarity ratio. We have two triangles. We want to find the similarity ratio. It's quite easy. The corresponding size here for four divided by twelve. I told you, you cannot say four divided by nine or let's say by a five fifteen because these two sides are corresponding. Simplify it divided by four is one divided by four is three. So the proportionality of the first one is, uh, the symmetry ratio is 1 over 3. Then 3 divided by 9. Simplify it. Again, it is 1 over 3. Finally, we have 5 divided by 15. 5 divided by 15 divided by 5 is 1 divided by 5 is 3. So the similarity ratio is 1 over 3. The two triangles is, let's say, are similar. Even for the, 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 this example, we have two triangles here. It's not one triangle, it's two triangles. Because this is the first triangle. Okay, and that one is the second triangle. They have a common side. They have a common side. So it is 4 divided by 6. 4 divided by 6. 6 simplified it is 2 over 3 then 3 divided by 4.5 again gives you 2.3 uh, 2 over 3 finally 6 okay divided by 9 that's going to be 2 over 3 then the triangle are similar and the similarity ratio is 2 over 3 okay then one of the most important questions in this section is that question. When we have, let's say it says 4, 6, 10 and 8, 12 of y are lengths of corresponding sides in two similar triangles. They are similar. What is the value of y? What is the value of y? Because they are similar, it must be that they, 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 let's say, pro, they, are, they are proportional. So, how to solve that question? How to find y? I, let's say, color the number. 4 is with 8, 6 with 12, 10 with y. So, you are free to choose 8 with 
so let's say 4 with 8 or 6 with 12. For example, I'm going to choose the, by the first one. 4 over 8 is equal 10 divided by y. Okay, we want to find the value of y. Again, 4 divided by 8 is uh, 10 divided by y. Okay, what shall we do? Do the cross product. 4 times y, it is 4y is equal, or maybe some of you wants to simplify in the first step. It's easier. You can simplify it here. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So y times 1, it's y, 2 times it, 10, it's going to be 20. If, if you do not simplify it, if you, let's say you don't know how to simplify, you can say y times 4 is 4y, four 8 times 10, it is 80. So divided by 4, divided by 4, y is equal 20. If you, if you do not simplify, you get the same result. Okay, we got y is equal 20. But maybe some students ask that question, what if you choose 6 with 12? 6 divided by 12 is equal 10 divided by y. So you get the same result. There is no difference because all of them are proportional. 6 divided by 6 is 1, 12 divided by 6 is 2. y times 1 is y, 2 times 10 is equal 20. So you get the same result. You will get the same result. Okay, we have these Nishmani questions. Uh, it says 6, 8, 12, and 15, 20, y. Find the value of y. Find the value of y. So how to do it? Again, you are free to choose 6 with 15 or 8 with 20. So it depends on you. Both of them are correct. I'm going to choose 6 with uh, 15. 6 divided by 15 is equal to divided by y. I can simplify it here. 6 divided by 3 is 2 divided by 3 is 5. Right now we do the cross product. 2 times y, 2y. 5 times 12 is equal 16. I want to find y, but there is 2 with it. Divided by 2, divided by 2, 2 and 2 cancels. Okay, so y is equal 16 divided by 2 is equal 30. So the value of y is 13. Question 2, uh, f4, 6, and x, then and we have 24, 36, 48 are lengths of corresponding size in two similar triangles. What is the value of x? Again, simply, uh, we are going to 4 divided by 24 is equal x divided by 48. x divided by 48. So simplify 4 and 24. 4 divided by 4 is equal 1 divided by 4 is equal 6. Then do the cross product. 48 times 1 is equal 48. 6 times x is 6x. We want to find the value of x divided by 6, divided by 6. 6 and 6 cancels. Okay, so x is equal 8. x is equal 8. So uh, there is no correct answer. So it is 8. x is 8. The correct answer does not equal here. Here, question three, this is the definition that we explained before. If three sides of a triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are what? Are similar. They are similar. Again, we have another uh, definition. It says if two, this is the theorem. If two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are what? are similar. They are 
similar. So this is the last question of that section. Okay, dear students, I hope you get benefit from me. This is the end of our class. I hope you get, have a great day. Thank you so much.